Hey everyone, I'm Marina Orms, the founder of Astrology Heals at astrologyheals.com. And today is Sunday, June 12th. And I wanted to talk to you about what's going on astrologically and how we can use it to make the most out of the day and the week and the times that we're in and optimize our own ability to live our truth and be creative and manifest the things that are important to us. So thanks for being here. And with today, we uh, have the moon going into Sagittarius uh, later in the day, and uh, it's heading toward the full moon in Sagittarius. So we're in that moon phase when things are culminating, things are sort of coming to the, the um, moment we've been anticipating in a sense. Like uh, I um, use the analogy of preparing a, uh, um, a, a play or a theater or some sort of performance. Um, and for the moon cycle. So the, um, the, the new moon, which is the same as any two planets coming together, it, the new moon is just the sun and moon coming together. So any coming together or conjunction of two planets is the new moon phase. And that's the seed time of the cycle. It's when we're imagining and envisioning the future, imagining what's possible, um, you know, imagining this performance uh, coming to fruition. And then we go through the waxing half of the cycle, the two week period where the moon is going from uh, nothing to full. And during that half, uh, that part of the cycle, we're working on it, we're putting it together, we're doing all the behind the scenes work to take steps to make decisions to do the actions to practice to um, form relationships, all all the things that go into creating something that's important. So uh, that's going to show up in depending on the planets involved, depending on the signs and the qualities involved, um, different areas of life, different modes of expression, different styles, uh, different things that we're working on. But that um, that analogy of of, of going from the vision, something that we can only imagine, to something that comes into being. And so the full moon in this analogy is when that curtain is drawn. It's showtime. It's when things uh, become revealed. It's when we discover the fruits of all the efforts we have put in and what is what it's going to become, because we ultimately, we can imagine it, we can work towards it, we can uh, try to shape and craft it the way we want to, but ultimately that moment of truth that happens when we open that curtain is that something is being revealed that we couldn't have uh, known for sure what, what it was going to be, what's going to unfold, how it's going to happen. And so in our lives and in this dance that we have of the planets going through their cycles, What's happening is a conversation between us and the universe. And so we're saying, hey, you know, I want to work towards something. This is important to me. I want to put some energy, some focus toward it. And then we can plant that seed at the new moon and then at the full moon, what we have been putting our energy and our efforts into is something is revealed about what that, how that is going to show up, what we still need to work on, um, what we have uh, manifested. And so the full moon is the universe's answer in the call and response between us and the universe. It's the universe saying to us, hey, you, um, you still need to work on this part to really get where you want to go or is saying, yeah, this is awesome. Look what you did, you know, take it in because uh, you only you can be impacted by this moment um, in a way that you couldn't have in your imagination. So you can be impacted by this moment in a way that you uh, couldn't have when it was only a dream, only something that uh, you could imagine. 
So that is the full moon in a nutshell, how I view the full moon. And this full moon is in Sagittarius. Something is being revealed to us. Sagittarius is about a bigger truth. It's about uh, how we view the world, what we put our faith and trust into, our beliefs, um, a bigger picture of what is possible. And uh, so Sagittarius has to do traditionally with themes of travel, of philosophy, of exploring and expanding into uh, new territories, new cultures, um, new ideas. And Sagittarius is also our ability to synthesize. It's our ability to take the information, the pieces of data, the things that we've learned, and unify them into a core of meaning. So a truth, a paradigm, a belief, a belief system, all of these things fit within the purview of Sagittarius. So we have the Sagittarius full moon, the themes that are coming up for us in the collective around this full moon have to do with uh, the story we are telling, the narrative, uh, the beliefs that we have, uh, the ways that we describe and understand and make meaning out of truths. And we see that this um, January 6th hearing has been happening um, in the buildup to this full moon. And of course it will continue, but in different, uh, uh, as the hearing goes through its different phases and components, we'll also be dealing with the different energies that come up uh, as the moon changes signs. But I find it very interesting that we're in this um, full moon in Sagittarius and that as the hearings began, we're in the um, buildup to this Sagittarius full moon and we're in this process of, uh, of developing an understanding, which is largely what this moon cycle is about. We, the moon cycle began with the new moon in Gemini and that energy is the energy of thoughts, ideas, uh, data, information, things we have to learn. Um, and so the pieces of information, the bits of data, and then we come to the Sagittarius full moon. It's how we put those pieces of information together to create a bigger understanding, a bigger picture, uh, a, a bigger way of making meaning out of the information. So uh, the, the hearings and, you know, as always, the things that are showing up in the news headlines are uh, reflective of these collective energies. Um, they are also showing up in different ways in our personal lives. So for each of us, we're going to have a different uh, way that that might be showing up. But themes of what do I believe in? What do I place my faith and trust in? How do I tell the story of my life or my situation or what's happening in the world or what's happening um, for me personally? All those themes of how we tell the story, how, what the narrative is, um, how we understand things. And so we might have an unfolding understanding of uh, the way we make meaning out of our lives, uh, you know, our own personal story, um, getting deeper into what is important to us, what gives our lives meaning. And those are the themes of this moon cycle. Those are the themes as we head into the June 14th Sagittarius full moon. And of course, later today, the moon is going into Sagittarius as we head toward that exact full moon. Um, also, in the energies of, of the, astral, the astrology of today, the astrology of the time we are in right now, um, we have uh, Venus conjunction to Uranus, and uh, that was exact yesterday as Venus passes by Uranus in Taurus, and uh, that... Uh, Taurus or Uranus is the is the planet of shakeup, of change, of freedom, of authenticity, uh, of uh, what uh, what needs to be challenged in the status quo. 
in order to uh, bring us to where we're headed, what we want for the future, how we want things to change. And, um, and Taurus is a, very much about the status quo. It's about what is uh, the simplicity of how things work and how we make sense out of things. So when we put the planet Uranus in Taurus, which I've talked about this before, Uranus in Taurus uh, is, is a several year placement. So it's not just today, but um, but with Venus passing over Uranus, it, it uh, activates this energy um, so that we have the shakeup in the status quo. We have uh, themes of change, of instability, of um, surprises um, and sudden developments. We also have themes of what does it mean to be free, to be authentic, to be... Um, ourselves and where do we need to rebel and how do we do that rebellion so you can see that you know wherever you're at politically that these themes are present and these themes are playing out and we are fulfilling our mission here on earth by um, participating in these energetic qualities so as venus passes over uranus past uranus uh, Venus brings the theme of uh, values and what we find beautiful, what we're attracted to, what we're drawn to. So what, you know, in the bigger picture of what we're talking about with narratives, what narrative is it that we're feeling drawn to? What makes us feel good? And that's going to be a component to this as well. Um, what are we attracted to? What, what gives us that feeling of of uh, beauty and satisfaction that that um, that we find valuable, and that's going to be the way that we answer that question will be different for each of us individually. Um, Venus in Taurus very much likes uh, things that activate our senses, so uh, the the smells, the uh, colors, the textures, the flavors that show up in our life, and you might notice some change, some uh, some shakeup or upheaval in the area of how you are experiencing beauty and how you. Um, discover new textures, flavors, etc. Like there could be some shakeup around that. And um, and how we do that experience of connecting with the world, with the earth, through our senses, there's some change uh, energy coming to that. And that, of course, uh, includes uh, our relationships and intimacy and uh, where we like uh, to feel beautiful and to feel valued and cherished and how we receive. It also includes money. So there could be shakeup in any of those areas. And that is a fairly quick transit. Um, it affects us for several days, but with Venus passing over Uranus, um, uh, that is something that we feel heightened uh, right now. And also, we've got uh, Mercury in Taurus. Mercury's been in Taurus. It was retrograde. Uh, it is now direct, and Mercury will be going into Gemini um, early tomorrow morning, Monday uh, the twelfth. Uh, um, Mercury goes into Gemini, and let's see. No, Monday is the thirteenth. Sorry, um, and that will bring. Uh, reconnection with ideas, with details, with information, with networking, communication, how we share ideas, how we share information, and the need to have an open mind. Um, Mercury is the planet of communication and mental processes. Gemini is the sign of curiosity and questioning and doubting, uh, you know, asking questions, having a sense of inquiry and looking deeper, having an open mind, a mind of wonder, a mind of curiosity to explore uh, new information and open to new possibilities. So all of this is ultimately supporting us to heal and to grow and to become more whole and to step more fully into the highest possibilities for ourselves, for our lives, for our world. 
And uh, when we can work with these energies positively and consciously, it is certainly uh, something that supports our ongoing growth and development. So that's what I've got for you today. Uh, I'll be sharing all this week uh, more daily updates with you. Um, I've been getting wonderful feedback on those, so I'm happy to bring you some more of those uh, little astro vibe for each day, letting you know what the energies and the qualities are of that day. So you can make the most of it and support your own ongoing process of self-care and ongoing growth and wholeness and wellness and healing. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. It really helps me. And uh, we're going to keep spreading this uh, information about how astrology can help and support us in uh, being our true selves. So thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like on this video, and thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.